Hello students, welcome to PW. Let's see this question. A woman whose father is hemophilic and mother is homozygous normal married a normal man and had two daughters and two sons. So what are the chances of their sons being hemophilic? So you can have a condition. In condition in charu, we have a woman. Okay. So we have a woman. E woman father under the father amantunaru. Father is a hemophilic. Okay. A hemophilic father. And mother amantesi homozygous. Homozygous and antimaniki. She is a normal lady. Okay. Elanti hemophilic lady. So she is a homozygous. So, if women never marry this, she is marrying a normal man. So, ever marry this, a normal man. Okay. So, if you do it, if women aim out in the, she will be a carrier. Okay. And this woman is a heterozygous woman. In the co since it's hemophilia, manaki criss cross pattern and this the inheritance lo. So if the father or chase the hemophilic mother mother normal on the F1 generation lo manaki daughters are the carriers for this. This is an F1 generation. So F1 generation day mothundi daughters and the carriers out there. So the carriers are the normal man ni marriage is kuntaro then vala kocha offsprings evarate untaro so dantlo ela kanipistundante in the f2 generation so in the f2 generation vala kocche daughters andaru kuda hemophilic untaru daughters are completely hemophilic ante 100% they are hemophilic okay kani sons kocche sariki Ela Martinadi fifty percent of chase, they are hemophilic, whereas fifty percent they are normal in the F2 generation. Okay, so this is the crisscross pattern of inheritance. So, you can question him at Putinaro what are the chances of the sons being hemophilic? Antunaru? So, sons are Ela hemophilic out there. They will be 50% chances. So 50% can be hemophilic, 50% can be normal. So if I correct option in Manaki, option A.